So today you guys are going to experience something that you've never watched on YouTube and that is me doing a Q&A. Hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. So if you're new here, kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe. If you're old here, thanks so much for coming back again. So my name is Innocent and I am the guy behind all the tutorials that you've been watching. If, of course, you've watched any of my videos before. So about a week ago, I asked you guys to post some questions on my YouTube and on my Facebook. So today I'm going to do the answering to all those questions. I got like 45 questions both on YouTube and Facebook and today I'm going to answer each and every one of them. This might take some time so you just have to stick around so that we do this together. And I'm going to do it in, a, in such a way that I read the questions out and then I'm going to answer it and name the person that asked the question. Some of them have YouTube channels so probably you might want to check them out. Alright so we're going to start right away. So the first question came from Israel Tech and he wants to know that Innocence can I use some of your videos? Well um, Israel Tech you can use some of my videos provided you're going to credit me on that. So that, that's the simple answer I can give to that. Number two is coming from Jamaica Girl123 and she wants to know um, what's your favorite TV show? Well, my favorite TV show is Talented Case. Um, it's, it's very similar to that of British Got Talent and America's Got Talent. So I, in my own terms, I call it Ghana's Got Talent. But that is basically for kids. Um, I think it's from five years or, yeah, five years to 12 or so, 12 or 11. I'm pretty sure. And it gives the kids in Ghana the opportunity to showcase their talents and to be seen by the other world. So that is my favorite TV show currently. Number three is coming from Lex Forever and she is asking three questions. What's your favorite song? Who inspired you to do YouTube? And what are your plans for the next five years? So my favorite song would have to be On One e by Jometel. Jometel was one of them.
myself off or on the camera and to reach out to people and to help people do graphic design work and give them tips and those stuff alone is a uh, biggest thing that I've ever come across so that is the thing that I love about making videos and also meeting different people so yes that's it this one is coming from life in the middle and he wants to ask did you ever want to give up on YouTube no 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 I've never wanted to give up on my YouTube since 365 days plus now like I'm so much into YouTube right now that I I never want to give up on YouTube seriously this one is coming from Riza Yvonne XOX. What's your biggest obstacle you've come across since you started? Um, when I was not having the subs and all those things, like not having the, the correct gears to make proper videos, not having a camera, not having a mic, and even using um, cracked software versions doesn't speak very good about being a youtuber so those are my biggest obstacles that i've come across yeah what will you do if you become a big youtuber are you planning to make youtuber company these questions are coming from a lovely kid in japan well when i become a youtuber i have the great mindset of helping other small youtubers and you know um, trying to reach out to more people and help people out that is when i become a bigger youtuber and I'm planning to make YouTube, like, I don't get the question well, but um, planning to make YouTube a company, I don't understand that, but let's say I want to, I want to make it big on YouTube, so probably, yes, I want to make YouTube a big company, yeah. Pages World want to ask four questions, and I'm going to give them the best answers that I can. Where are you from? How did you choose your YouTube name? What made you decide to do tech videos? And how is your fundraiser going? Well, number one, I'm from Ghana. Number two, um, how did you choose your username? Uh, I was very famous on Facebook about two years ago. So the name Innocent Skateboarding was very known to many of my friends. I had over 5,000 friends. So I thought it wise to use the same name on YouTube so that if in case somebody from YouTube or um, Facebook want to search me on YouTube, it will be very simple for the person to find me. Right now, if you type in Innocent Cable Atom, like you're, you're mostly likely to find me. So uh, that's how I chose my YouTube name. How is your fundraiser going? Well, my fundraiser, currently three people have donated and I thank them so much. And I know all those people who promised to donate will be going. So I'll link the, uh, I'll put the link in the description below so that you can also donate and it's going on well so thank you everybody who has donated so far this is coming from one of my biggest um my biggest my biggest fans on youtube her name is clearless mamadi i love her so much she doesn't think about herself only and her channel she tries to reach out to other people and to help others so she wants to know that what it is like to be a youtuber in ghana are there many is youtube popular there uh, well, Clueless Mama D, it is so cool to be a YouTuber in Ghana. Like, uh, I've watched so many Ghanaian YouTubers and it is so cool to be a YouTuber in Ghana. Uh, YouTube is also popular in Ghana because almost, right now, almost all the celebrities have their own channels and YouTube, I think, is becoming very, very popular in Ghana. And then, uh, there are many... Um, youtubers in ghana like content creators in ghana also so yeah that's it what made you decide to do tech videos well i i love tech and i've been a fan since i was three so uh, i thought it was that doing what you love or somebody once said that you make your passion your profession so if i love text why don't i start making something about text so um, that is why I started making videos on tech. So the next question is coming from Mrs. Moms and she wants to know how did you choose your username or your channel name? Like I said already, I was very famous on Facebook so I thought it wise to just use my name on Facebook to do that on YouTube so that even if anybody is to search for me on YouTube, it wouldn't be like a difficult task for a person. Okay, so the next question is coming from Tiflos Chronicle. Uh, Tiofil's 
Chronicle. I don't know if I got the name correct, but he wants to know how big I want my channel to be like. Well, seriously, I want my channel to be as big as the ocean because I want to reach out to more people and touch the lives of more people. So I want my channel to be that big. Why did you start YouTube? And that is coming from Christian Chaotic Life. Um, I started my channel basically because I thought YouTube was all about making money. So I started YouTube with the intention of making a lot of money or let's say making money but i got to realize along the way that youtube goes beyond making money you get to meet a whole lot of people get to bring out what is in you and a lot a lot of stuff so i started youtube basically to make money yeah and the last on my youtube questions list is what are you planning to draw in the next future or in the future videos that is coming from the chaotic quintalina family i don't know if i got that also correct but I'm planning to draw as many YouTubers as I, I can, draw as many celebrities and draw my subscribers and my followers on both Instagram and Facebook too. So those are my future things about drawing. This particular person loves my drawing so I want to surprise her with a drawing. So now I'm going to answer all the questions that were posted on Facebook. So if you posted your question on Facebook, this is the time for you. I've got 28 questions to answer and so I'm going to speed up a little bit. Okay, so let's move to the first question. Why did you choose to do YouTube? Well, like I explained just recently, I chose to do YouTube because I thought many people were making money from it. So I wanted to be making money, but it's a whole different story right now as I'm talking to you. Number two, what got you started with tech? And I've explained that already also that I love tech, so I just... I just love doing what I love to do. Yeah. Who has influenced you the most in technology? Well, I would have to say that is Marcus Brownie, um, one of the biggest technology tech YouTubers on YouTube. Uh, the guy's videos are just awesome, and anytime I watch his video, it inspires me to be, do something greater with more than what I'm doing right now. Yeah. What's your favorite hobby outside YouTube? Well, I love to play football, and I'm a very huge fan of. Tennis. I play tennis and snooker like I'm a game fan so I do play a whole lot outside YouTube the next question is why are you doing Q&A well I'm doing Q&A just because I want you to I want to give the answers to some of the questions that you guys might want to have for me like just like you asked these questions and then I'll give answers so that we get to know ourselves like you get to know me the real me yeah that's it what inspires you to keep creating content and that is coming from Gali Novak. Well, right now as I'm talking to you, I've come to love doing this video stuff and I've come to realize what I love to do. So the love and the passion for doing what I love to do alone keeps me creating content. content. Now it's not about money, it's not about being famous or it's not about um, anything. It's about doing what I love to do. Yeah. Did you have any fear going after your craft? Actually, yes, I had almost like, I was thinking anything that I'm, I'm about doing, somebody has done it already. Like you want to teach people how to remove background in Photoshop, somebody has done that already. So I thought uh, there was no need to start doing all these things, but seriously, it was a different issue altogether. So if you are thinking of starting a YouTube right now, you probably want to start because you do things your own way somebody might like it the way you do it yeah why do you see your channel in the next two years and that is coming from gemi d on car okay in the next two years like i've talked about my five years on youtube uh aspiration and in the next two years i i hope to reach at least like hundred thousand subscribers and then yeah that's that and increase my 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 way of delivering videos and my sub count yeah what advances do you predict for current technologies in five years macmates.com well just like the pre the current technology as compared to that of the past two years and the past three years is very different i predict that the technologies that will be coming in the next five years will be just awesome like it will be crazy you know tech is everything it's crazy yeah so I predict a whole lot of stuff. What was your biggest obstacle that you had to overcome to get to where you are now? 
my biggest obstacle that I had to overcome was fear. I fear the fact that people had led me. I fear the fact that I wasn't going to be noticed and those that. Since I decided to overcome that fear, I think everything is possible. So if you are, if you have any doubts, any fears, you try to overcome it. It's very simple, yeah. Where do you see yourself and your channel in the next couple of months? What kind of things do you want to do or people do you want to feature on your videos? Um, it's coming from Rain Fay. Okay, I see myself in the next couple of months building my YouTube channel and doing some collabs with some great people, some great content creators. And I would like to feature a whole lot of people on this channel and a whole lot of content on this channel too. What is your biggest piece of advice to get to 1,000 subscribers? And that is coming from Nicole Richie. Well, my biggest piece of advice is that you have to be willing to do what you do. Don't follow um, trending topics so much. Do what you love to do. Express yourself. Try to try to do and try to support other YouTubers. Like watch other videos when you are free and those stuff. And then try to share as much as possible on anywhere you find yourself. Yeah, that's it. Have you wanted to pivot and try other types of content for your channel? Coming from Edgar Obari. Well, um, sometimes I do want to make videos like this, like recording myself on the camera and see how it goes. But uh, I'm not very good at that. So, but I do want to. And if I get the correct gears to do that, probably I'll be switching on and off from Photoshop tutorials to do some, th some cool things like that. Yeah what steps did you take to get to 1k well um that is coming from andiwa andiwa okay um i had to develop the sense of uh, passion for the youtube channel you have to be creating content and uploading regularly you have to be replying comments you have to be checking out on other videos you have to be sharing you have to introduce your channel to different people on social media and you have to be nice to people in general so i think those are the basic steps that i took to get to 1000 subscribers who is your motivation when doing youtube um i don't know particularly what you want to talk about maybe whether it is um uh, for a youtuber marcus brownie um justin odisho and pigs in perfect those are the people and flynn those are the people that um those are the, my motivations that when i'm doing youtube anytime i watch their videos i get motivated to work very hard to get to the level that they are so those are my motivation yeah what advice would you give to a new youtuber and that is coming from al oracle well um if you are a new youtuber and you're watching this video it is not as easy as you want it to be YouTube making videos and getting subscribers getting the views it's not an overnight thing though there are some people that would upload today and the next day they have like 50,000 100,000 views that is normal sometimes luck comes in and luck counts but if you are not getting the subscribers if you are not getting the views and all those stuff please do not feel bad about yourself because it takes time to practice everything every professional person that you see right now they didn't just become a professional like a professional person in just one day so if you're a new youtuber and you're watching this video you have to love what you're doing and you have to be yourself and you try not to be discouraged by hate comments and all those stuff yeah so that's my advice for new youtubers what's your favorite video you've made so far and what's your least favorite by the small hours okay uh, my favorite video so far is uh, 2018 calendar i think it's my most popular video also and my least video is the compilation of all the works that i did for 2017 i think that video wasn't as good as i expected it to be yeah what's your favorite ice cream flavor well um, i don't know much about ice cream besides i don't even remember the last time i took ice cream because i'm not a fan of ice cream seriously so i don't have a favorite ice cream flavor how do you handle hate comments and negative comments and that is coming from Yves says well if you comment or you comment a, you make a hate comment on my channel i just come to you and say thank you for watching this video 
or probably if you're trying to insult me it's either i i just leave the comments i don't delete it because they are all part of engagement so i don't delete it but i'll try to as much as possible to win you on my side and if you are still proving like you don't you still don't like me i'll just let you go it's as simple as that besides not all people will get to like you on this journey yeah what made you start youtube i've answered that already so i'm not going to answer that came from jay roberts if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life what would it be well my favorite food is fufu so probably i'll be eating fufu for the rest of my life if i'm to i'm to eat one thing for the rest of my life if you had to pick or watch exclusively one channel for the rest of your life what youtuber besides yourself would you watch that is coming from Dracos creation wow um one channel one channel one channel that is very that would be very difficult for me to choose honestly what made you start youtube and what keeps driving or moving you on well i've answered what made me start youtube so what keeps me moving on is my love for doing what i love to do so that is what keeps me moving on besides i'm not gaining or uh, i'm not gaining any money from youtube so my love and passion for what i'm doing is what keeps me moving on if you had just one day to live what would you do with it you are stranded on an island for three days what are the three things you keep or you would take well if i have one day or i had one day to live probably i will live that day doing the best things that i love to do that is the only way that will be that will make me happy and i'll make sure that i have everything in place so that after that one day and if i'm to die like i will secure a very good place for my soul somewhere in heaven yeah um if i'm stranded on an island and i need to pick three things that would be food water and my phone yes seriously the the weather is actually changing so probably my video might be something else and that came from asking answers what are your favorite and least favorite things about making youtube videos well my favorite thing about making youtube videos is that i get the opportunity to express myself and to reach out to others in the world and my least favorite thing about making youtube videos is that sometimes you put in much effort to make one particular video and you that like you expect it to reach more people but unfortunately it doesn't come because you're a small youtuber yeah when was the time that you thought your channel was not working and you were thinking to shut it down well actually i've never thought of that because my for once not for once i've thought of my channel not working so i had to shut it down so it has never happened just like that what a moment happy or sad um, doing youtube that has stuck with you and it's coming from just a little nut the happiest moments ever on youtube is when i realized that this is what i really want to do and youtube actually goes beyond making money and fame so that was my happiest like getting to know that alone is my happiest moment and it has stuck with me like forever yeah i think so what is your favorite genre of book i love reading story books i love just reading story books it, it it is just something that i used to do and of late i've not been reading books but i love reading books so my favorite my genre of books is stories and that stuff yeah what's your favorite video game to play my favorite video game to play is ps i love playing um ps uh, right now I, I i used to be playing 2018 ps 2018 on my phone and dream league also so i i love playing soccer video games yeah if you can collaborate with any youtuber on this day who would you collaborate with i would have loved to collaborate with justin odisho because he's my inspiration he's my motivation he made me start my youtube channel so if i had that chance like seriously i would have collaborated with him today so justin odisho my love for you is just big and my respect for you is just amazing and the last of my questions and to wrap up this video is if you had a choice would you like to see the future or go back to um, go back before well we we are we are living this life and looking forward to be moving on so definitely i wouldn't have want to go back but i would have love to see the future what the future holds for me and how i should prepare and meet the future so yes those are the questions and i think every each and everyone's question was answered 
um actually this is my first time of doing this kind of video so let me know in the comment section below how i did from one to hundred percent rate me in the comment section below and let me know how i did and thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video i'll be coming soon with another tutorial on youtube innocent here bye